In this video, we are going to learn how to find the area of composite shapes. So what's a composite shape? It's basically a shape that's made up of other shapes that doesn't necessarily have its own special name. But you could break it apart into shapes that you do know. So for example, if we had a rectangle and attached to that we put a triangle and down here we put another triangle, this would be a composite shape. If we thought about this shape not as three shapes put together, but just as this shape, this would be a composite shape. And if the area of the rectangle was 16 units squared, and the area of this triangle was seven units squared, and the area of the other triangle was nine units squared, then the area of this composite shape would be 16 plus seven plus nine. So the area of a composite shape is the sum of the area of its parts. So the area would be 16 plus 7 plus 9, which is 32 units squared. So the basic idea is you can figure out the area of a composite shape by breaking it down into shapes that you know, finding the area of those parts, and then finding the sum of all of the different areas. So Here's an example of another composite shape. And when you're just given it like this, the first thing you want to do is break it down into shapes that you know. So one way to do that, and there's often more than one way, would be first I notice that I can sort of chop off this triangle, a right triangle on this end. And I can also draw a little line here in order to create two different rectangles. So now my composite shape is two rectangles plus a triangle, and I need to find the area of each part. So in order to do that, the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is figure out some of the missing sides, missing information. Notice that these two sides were marked as being congruent. That means they must both be six. So I can say that that's six. I also know that I have this big rectangle here well, it's not really a complete rectangle, but it could be if I drew it in like this. So its opposite sides must be congruent, which means that this full part right here must be 20. So if this part is four, like up above, that means this must be 16 in order to make the full 20. I also need to figure out the length of this height, which I can do by looking over here and noticing that this full part would be 6 plus 6, so that means it's 12. The last thing that I don't know is this base of the triangle, but it's a right triangle, so I can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the base b. So I know that b squared plus 12 squared must equal 13 squared, so that means b squared plus 144 equals 169. And once you subtract 144, you get b squared equals 25, which means b equals 5. Remember, 5, 12, 13 is one of those Pythagorean triples that will show up a lot. So now that we've sort of figured out all our missing information, we should be able to find the area of each of those three parts. So the area of the small rectangle is base times height, so this small rectangle right here, the base and the height are six and four, so it's going to be four times six, which is 24 units squared. The area of the big rectangle will be, now we're looking right here, and its base and height are 16 for the base and 12 for the height. Notice we're not using the 20, because that actually helped us to figure out the 16, but won't be the dimension of any of our shapes. So we have 16 times 12, which is 192 units squared. And finally, for the triangle, remember that the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. So the area of this triangle 
which has a base of 5 and a height of 12, will be 5 times 12 divided by 2, which is 30 units squared. So that means that the area of the full shape, the original shape, before we broke it down, would be the sum of all three of the parts. So the total area equals 24 plus 192 plus 30, which is 246 units squared. So again, the basic idea with composite shapes is break them down into shapes you know. Don't forget your different formulas for rectangles and triangles and parallelograms. Find the area of each part, and then the area of the composite shape would be the sum of all of the other areas.